my waist and put that body on me I'm coming now, follow my lead I'm coming now, follow my lead mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a DIY on how to do this lovely choker that I made with old jeans. I did not throw the jeans away. I just made those jeans into capris so I can wear them for the summer and won't be hot. So if you are interested on how to make this lovely choker, keep on watching. Okay, so this is basically what you're going to need. Some pair of jeans that you're going to cut, scissors, something to measure with, measuring tape, velcros. If you don't have velcros, you can easily use a safety pin. Doesn't really matter. But these are the four things that you're generally going to need. Okay, first with the jeans. I'm still going to be wearing these jeans. I just wish that the jeans would be shorter. So I'm just going to cut the jeans right here right below the knee i already tried on the jeans and know exactly where i want to cut so i am good to go okay so i'm going to cut right here right where the knee ends so get your heavy duty scissors and just start to cut So this is not going to be easy. Okay, so my jeans are very hard to cut. So I decided to get a knife. This is a very sharp knife. So if you guys are going to use a knife, be very, very careful. So this is what I was just doing. I'm just using the knife because for some reason my scissors was not doing a job. So this knife is going to make it have a very frayed effect, which will be looking really good for the choker. So this is what you can do if your scissor is not doing the job. Because I'm trying and it's just not working. So the knife is the backup plan. So this is all what you have to do. Very simple and it's going to give your choker that nice frayed effect. So this is a really good way that you don't have to spend $20 or even $30 on the Kim Kardashian choker. Well, she probably pays more than $30, but still. Us regular people, us poor college students can't afford that. So this is what you need to do. Got it. See? Killing two birds with one stone. I'm getting my capris and I'm getting a nice choker to match the capris. Let's go. Be very careful, guys. Do not want to cut yourself. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to be using to make my choker. Now that both legs are done, I just have to choose which one I'm going to use as a choker. So this one has a really nice, somewhat straight line. So I'm going to use this one. So just throw this away, don't need it. And I'm going to do, let's see. Now you have to think how long do you want your choker? How long you want the length to be. So I want my choker to be about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think two inches would be perfect. This is your outline. So you go back with the knife and you cut. Remember, you do not have to use the knife. I'm just using the knife because I cannot use the scissor because a scissor does not want to work. Like it would be much safer if I did, but it's not going to happen, so. Okay, so I got a better scissor, so I'll just use this one. And it has a little jagged edge. So, yeah. So it's, okay, got it. So this made it into a clean cut. Not really a fan of that. So I'm just going to run along with the knife so it can get jagged. Just going to cut right here and measure it around your neck. So my neck is around 12 inches. So right here to right here. Cool. So this is really around 12 it's around it's 13 inches so just gonna cut it in a little bit we can get the velcros and put one on each side so it'd be like that You don't even need to sew these on because they're very sticky. So I'll just put it right here. And the other one will be on this side. So this is the finished choker. I just love how it came out. It's not too tight. It's just right, and it goes so well with my outfit. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!